Yellow Flash, Wicked Eye Fugaku, Red Sand Sasori, and many other legendary ninjas were brought forth by the Third Great Ninja World War. We know much more about this war compared to the First and Second World Wars and today I want to talk about the Third Shinobi World War. But before I start talking, I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Well, a lot of interesting battles have happened in this war. But probably the most famous one was the fight between Minato and the Iwagakure army. Many people think that Minato has killed 1,000 ninjas, however, that is just not true, and I think it was a misunderstood line from Onoki from the Shadow of the Anbu arc. Onoki says, With the pride on our line, we sent 1,000 of our shinobi and I hear that it took just one of them, the Yellow Flash, to stop the invasion. And that's the reality of it. Minato was credited by Onoki for stopping the Hidden Stones invasion. He did not say he killed 1,000 shinobi. The manga goes more in depth in Kakashi Gaiden. Minato lays out the situation to his team and tells them that the Hidden Stone has deployed 1,000 shinobi to the front line to invade the Hidden Grass village. Minato tells his team that after they make it to the border, Team Kakashi will sabotage a crucial bridge while Minato will head to the front line. Minato shows up at the front line when their forces are at 50 while Konoha has only 4 shinobi remaining. Like Onoki just said in the Shadow of the Anbu episode, they were about to succeed in their invasion, 50 vs 4, before Minato showed up and beat the remaining 50 in an instant, ending the invasion. I'm pretty sure that even if enemies were a thousand, Minato would still be able to defeat them. We know what Minato is capable of, and we know that as a Jonin, he's already in the top 0.1% of Shinobi. But let's be factual about events that happened. Nevertheless, defeating the Iwagakure army was no joke, and it was a huge feat for Minato. It played a very big role in winning the Third Ninja World War, and it increased Minato's chances of becoming Hokage drastically. Minato fighting the Iwagakure army was not the only famous skirmish that happened in this war. The third Raikage had his legendary battle against 10,000 ninjas all alone for three straight days and nights, which is a really insane feat. We don't know who he was fighting against, but if we look closely we can see the ninja uniforms of Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, Hidden Mist, and Hidden Stone. I don't know what was the reason for this battle, as we can see that every village is seemingly allied with each other in order to defeat the leader of the Hidden Cloud. I think we have never seen any better endurance feat from a ninja in this series, and I hope we will get more information about this battle in the future. Minato and the third Raikage weren't the only ninjas who became famous after defeating a large number of enemies. After this war, Sasori earned fame as Sasori of the Red Sand due to his ingenious puppets dyeing the sand red with his enemy's blood. In the date book, it is written that Sasori has destroyed whole countries by himself, and who knows, this accident could have happened during this war. Other notable battles that have happened in this war include numerous clashes between Kumogakure and Konohagakure, specifically between Minato and A. However, probably the most impactful battle in this war was when Kirigakure partook in the war against Konohagakure and made Rin Nohara into the Jinchiriki of the Three Tails. Rin chose to die by Kakashi's hands rather than be used as a tool to destroy her own village. The Kiri Shinobi were adamant in retrieving Rin's body and not allowing it to fall into enemy hands. Rin achieved this by letting herself be stabbed by Kakashi's Chidori, which not only stopped the Three Tails from being released but also resulted in Rin's death. Grief-stricken, Obito Uchiha, who, unbeknown to his teammates, had survived and was a witness to Rin's murder, massacred the Kiri Shinobi by himself, despite their best attempts. Some time after this, Madara Uchiha would pass by, but not before passing his plans onto Obito to fulfill until the time of his resurrection. Another clash between the Hidden Leaf and the Hidden Mist was when Ao from Kirigakure defeated a member of the Hyuga clan and took the member's Byakugan for his own right eye socket. I wonder how Ao managed to do that since Hyuga clan members were protecting their Byakugans with special seals. I assume that Kisame was also participating in this war and fighting on the Hidden Mist side. The war that swallowed up Shinobi from every land came to an end after a peace treaty between Konoha and Iwagakure, which were the principal aggressors of the war, was concluded. In the anime, the Tsuchikage was more reluctant to accept the peace treaty, only accepting it after Minato single-handedly stopped an invasion consisting of a thousand Iwa Shinobi. This was also the first war where Itachi participated and saw the real side of wars. 
It had a huge impact on Itachi's character later, who was trying his best to end conflict between villages. Let's talk about the effects of this war. In Konoha, although the war had been proceeding favorably for the village, the third Hokage established a policy of reconciliation to bring an end to the fighting with an unprecedented offer to not seek reparations from Iwa. Advocates for the war opposed Hiruzen's seemingly weak decision, and to keep dissatisfaction in the village in check, he decided to step down as Hokage. The Konoha shinobi that received the most attention for their war efforts in the village were the Sanin and the surviving members of Team Minato. Out of the two teams, Minato, who was the key factor in the war that gained the moniker of Konoha's Yellow Flash, alongside Orochimaru, were the only two candidates village officials put forward to succeed Hiruzen. Ultimately, it was Minato who became the fourth Hokage. This war also made Fugaku Uchiha famous worldwide, whose nickname of Wicked Eye Fugaku made shinobi of other nations tremble. His talents were considered comparable to Minato Namikaze and the Sanin, even viewed as a prime candidate to become fourth Hokage. In Sunagakure, Sasori earned fame as Sasori of the Red Sand due to his ingenious puppets dyeing the sand red with his enemy's blood. In Kirigakure, Ao gained a Byakugan from a Hyuga clan member he killed during the war, which in turn led him to be known as Byakugan Killer in Konoha. Kakashi Hatake eventually gained fame throughout the shinobi world as Copy Ninja Kakashi after he gained a Sharingan from a dying Obito during their mission to destroy the Kanabi Bridge. According to Itachi Shinden, this is also a war where Shisui Uchiha awakens his Mangekyo Sharingan after killing his best friend and rival. In Amegakure, there was another drama between Yahiko, Nagato, Konan, and Hanzo. However, it is not really connected to this war, so I won't talk about it today. Now let's talk about the leaders of hidden villages. Two most obvious Kages during that time are Hiruzen Saritobi and Onoki. The Raikage was changed in this war due to the third Raikage sacrificing himself against 10,000 ninjas, who was later succeeded by his son, the fourth Raikage. The Mizukage is an interesting one. We know that the second Mizukage, Gengetsu Hozuki, died in his battle against the second Tsuchikage in the Third Shinobi World War. That means he was dead by the time of the Second and Third Shinobi World Wars. We know that Yagura was the fourth Mizukage, who was also the Jinchuriki of the Three Tales and controlled by Obito. But during this war, Rune was the Jinchuriki of Isobu and Obito had just left the cave, so he would not be able to control Yagura. Which makes me think that the person who was in charge of the Hidden Mist in this war was the third Mizukage. However, we know nothing about him, not even his name or abilities. But he should be pretty strong, since he was the leader of the Hidden Mist for two great ninja world wars. Now the Kazikage is an interesting one. It could be any of the first three. However, I believe the third Kazikage was in charge of the village. 